gonna smoke me a fatty brisket I got my barbecue shoes on I'm gonna smoke me a fatty brisket I got my barbecue shoes on Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're cooking up some strip burgers at the pit, and it's easy to do. All right, it's 36 degrees Fahrenheit. Perfect day for making up some strip burgers. Now, what we have here is some New York strip steaks. All right, you know about these. Real tender. Perfect for a strip burger. Now, for this recipe... You're going to need an onion spread, all right? And we're going to show you how to do that. And you start by cutting up some real thin slices of a good onion, right? Heat up your black iron pan with a couple of tablespoons of butter. Add some uh, olive oil and throw those onions in there as much as you can pack in this black iron pan. Put the cover on, sweat them down. And this is a slow process to get them right, right? You got to take your time. You might take a beer or two to get them the way you like. Oh, man, they look good. All right. Now, next thing you want to do is trim the steak a bit, right? Since this is going to be incorporated into the burger, you can take some of this fat off. It's not going to do you any good inside the burger. So we'll just trim them up just a little bit. And what you're going to do now is slice these steaks into small chunks, bite-sized chunks, just like that. Oh, man. Looks good enough to eat already. In fact, it is. <laughs> this is some good eating right there with just a little bit of salt and pepper. Oh, man. You getting hungry or what? That's about the size of the chunks you want. All right, now let's uh, put all this together. Here we've got about two pounds of ground chuck, right? Good ground burger. We're going to season them up a little bit. Here we're using some SPG. Use some salt and pepper or your favorite uh, beef seasoning. And we're going to throw those beautiful New York strip steak chunks right in there and mix it up good. And here we've got about... A three-quarter cup of raisins. Oh, yeah. Raisins work. Mm. Mix it up real good and make your patties. You know how to do that. And we're making about uh, three-quarter to one-pound patties each. Real good size. Mm. Now, uh, we really don't have to show you how to do this, but uh, Slasher's kind of enjoying himself right there making these burgers. So um, just kick back and relax. They look good. Now, if you've never had a Pit Boy strip burger before, you definitely got to check this out. This will be some real good eating at your pit. Oh, for sure. All right. The patties have been formed. We've got uh, some indirect heat going on. That means the charcoal is on one side because we're going to uh, do these indirect. And we're doing them indirect so the uh, beef, the beef steak, and the burger stays together. You do it too hot, too fast, you run the risk of blowing it apart. So we're going to start indirect at a temperature of about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Whoa, this won't take long to do. Now, while we're waiting, we're going to make that onion spread, right? And uh, so you're going to take these grilled down onions, and it took us about uh, whew, maybe 25 minutes to get these onions right. And uh, we're going to put them in those uh, proselator machines, right? <laughs> you're going to grind it up good. Use what blender you have, right? Now to kick it up, We've got some of our habanero chipotle. That's optional, but we like a little bit of heat in that onion spread. Throw it in that uh, fancy-ass machine. Puree it up. 
And what you got? Looks like peanut butter. But nope. It's a beautiful Vidalia onion spread. All right. Time to check these out. We're going to uh, flip them. Just like that. We're about uh, maybe 15 minutes into this. These are good sized burgers and they'll take a bit to do. Just flip them, get some even cooking going on. Again, we're staying indirect and you can see how everything is coming together real good. Can you smell that? It smells good. And if you can't, you're on the wrong channel, right? All right. These uh, strip burgers are just about done. And um, we're just going to uh, put one side direct just a little bit. Get a little bit more char underneath. We want to serve these kind of uh, medium rare. Medium would be fine. And now we're going to take that onion spread and spread it all over the top. Oh, yeah. Oh, me. I'm telling you. Nothing like strip burgers at the pit. And uh, we just happen to have some cheese. We're using some Swiss cheese. This is optional, but uh, throw some good cheese on these. And we're going to uh, toast up the buns a bit. You know all about this, right? I told you, it's real easy to do. And after a few minutes, the buns have been toasted just the way she likes it, right? And we're going to uh, pull these off the grill. Now, of course, you can set these uh, strip burgers up the way you want. Your favorite condiments, or no condiments at all. Look at that. Beautiful. Melted cheese, toasted buns, strip burger. We have some fresh sliced tomatoes to throw on top. How about some pickles? Maybe some jalapenos. Maybe some lettuce to keep the Vegematics happy. Here we got some mayonnaise. Like I said, you dress these strip burgers up the way you want. That's what good living's about, right? Let us slice one of these up right down the middle so you can check it out. Spread it. Look at that. Some big chunks. Strip steak. All nice and tender. Loaded with your favorite condiments. And of course, as always, we do apologize for eating in front of you like this. But we call this Pitmaster Privilege. <laughs> Go ahead, get the privilege. Get yourself some New York strip steaks, some good burger, and you'll be eating large. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com.